Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Tanya, and I am doing Vlogtober. Right now, it's about 6.45 in the morning. My kids have to go back to in-person learning today at school, so that's why we're up so early. And Savannah's currently in my bathroom doing her makeup, so let's go check on her and see how she's doing. What are you watching? Dylan. Dylan. Always. Yeah. Oh, it's a gaming one? Yeah, I've watched this series like a hundred times, but it's just so good. Uh, it's Detroit Become Human. Mm. I don't even know if you'd be interested in it though because it's a game, but like... Well, I thought you were Dylan. interested in games either. It's Dylan. Yeah, I know it's Dylan. <laughs> is that supposed to be him? Yeah. He died? Yeah, but he comes back to life because he's an android. So stupid, bro. Stupid. <laughs> oh, bless you. So here we are at the bus stop. 7.30 in the morning. I'm tired. Me too. Tonight, though, we're leaving, actually. We're leaving our house. We are? Yeah. You Crap. Know Did you forget something? My lunchbox. Okay, I had to drive back home real fast because Savannah's an idiot and forgot her lunch at home. Um, we made it though. But yeah, we're leaving tonight, remember? Right. <laughs> now you Today know. is my father-in-law's 75th birthday. So we're gonna go see him. Maybe, like I'll try to vlog some of that. Oh my god, <laughs> wait. Stop. A root beer? <laughs> I didn't bring... Uh, any drink at all? I didn't bring a fork. <laughs> Do they have plastic forks there that you can use? I hope. Wait. Savannah. I really hope so Wait, because I didn't bring, bring a fork. fork. Do you need a fork? Dude! My salad! <laughs> I'll just eat my salad Savannah, with my hands. You got your lunch. You remember? Hopefully taste they have first. plastic forks And there. if not... <laughs> eat taste I don't first. know. Do you have a fork in here? Yeah, I just keep forks in my car. Okay, so... <laughs> Since Savannah forgot a fork and the bus still wasn't there yet, um, I left her at the bus stop just in case the bus showed up. I sped back home again to get her a fork and sped back up to the bus stop again to give it to her. But when I got back into my car after I had the fork, Skylar goes, because he brings his backpack with him in the car just in case. But... As soon as I got back in the car with the fork, he goes, I don't have my phone or my mask. And I'm like, you couldn't tell me that two seconds ago before I ran Okay, the you were like zooming speed. But I mean, my kids are dumb and keep forgetting everything. At least I have a spare mask. Anyway, so it's oh, been Nancy. quite a morning, guys. Yeah. So we have a couple of minutes and then I have to drive the him kids. back up to the bus stop again. And then I can have my nice quiet day <laughs> I swear to God guys so I, I drove up here to bring Skyler to the bus stop just now and as soon as I pull up the bus is just driving past the, the bus stop so it was a super early it's in the neighborhood next to us right now so I had Skyler get out and stand at the corner so that hopefully when it comes back around again it'll see him standing there what a fucking day it's been. It's not even eight in the morning. It's been a crazy ass freaking morning. I want to just pull all my hair out. This is so ridiculous. I'll update you. Guys, I am fucking pissed off right now. That bus, it came out of the next neighborhood and it started coming the opposite direction. It stopped like at least 50 feet away from Skylar, not even in front of him. I was standing outside my car just to be sure he was going to stop. And I started ushering Skylar, go ahead, get on the bus. And he honks at him. The other problem with this is this bus stop is on a street that people go 65, 70 miles an hour down. And he now has to cross this road to get on the bus because it's going the opposite direction rather than be able to just get straight onto the bus. So Skyler's running over there to get on the bus. The guy had the audacity to open his window and say, y'all are supposed to be here five minutes before. 
you know, early just in case. I was like, we were here. We were here. You did not stop. We saw you not stop. You just drove right on past. And he was still trying to argue with me. And I was like, no, you are still required to stop at this bus stop, whether you see us or not. You just continued on to the next neighborhood without even slowing down. He was such a fucking dick. Sorry, I am really mad right now. I have no had nothing but problems with this transportation ever since my kids started going to school. This transportation sucks. It fucking sucks. <laughs> I'm so pissed. Okay, update. I called transportation. Then um, they had one of the managers give me a call back. This guy was really nice. Um, in the past, I've always dealt with female managers there. So I don't know if this is a different manager or they got a whole new manager. Um, but the managers in the past never used to help. They, they would act like they were concerned and they would act like you were right to be upset about whatever it is you were complaining about but then nothing would ever change this was a whole new person that i dealt with he did sound very very not happy with this driver for his decision to just not stop at our bus stop <laughs> so he said he's going to talk to this bus driver when he comes back in who knows what's actually going to happen with that but he said he's going to talk to him but listen i know that it it seems to everybody that I just flew off the deep end for no reason. But let me just say that <clears throat> I've been dealing with this transportation company ever since my kids started school. Everybody in town has had issues with this bus company. It's like a running joke that they're dumb. Like they don't hire the proper people and they they just, they, they're idiots and they make dumb decisions. Nobody likes them. So the reason why I went just right off the handle, right off the bat on the first day something happened is because this is a theme with them. Let's hope this doesn't happen on Monday. Hey guys, I'm getting on here just to tell you that Savannah just texted me and she told me to tell you guys that I eat booty. If you want proof, I'll show you the text. Hey guys, I know this is kind of a weird angle. I just got a package. I'm just gonna open it really quick. My husband ordered us some more face masks. Uh, we have like the typical regular cloth ones, but then I've been seeing a lot of people, at least here in our area, uh, wear these a lot. I haven't seen anybody else do this, so I don't know if this is just like Midwestern people. I don't know, I could be totally wrong. But we saw these other kinds of masks that we thought would be possibly more comfortable and we got two different sets people use these even before covid like if you're working out in the cold and you're like a construction type person like they go around your neck and you just pull them up those kinds we got some of those the other day in my vlog when i had i was holding my camera like this pointed at savannah and this is when savannah was like dancing and saying cody fern and she was like my mom has a big huge crush on Mark Wahlberg, which is a total lie because she knows I really freaking hate him. Um, I was not watching what Savannah was doing. I was holding the camera on her, but looking at my husband in the other direction while he was showing me these masks and they just came. And he was explaining that you can use it as a headband, neckwear, mask, and a cap. These are all the uses for it. Um, See, this one came with this one has nine in it and this one this one also has nine i guess and this one gives you other options like you can use it as an, a wristband an armband a scarf and it's polyester microfiber i don't know anyway so these ones okay so they're all like different designs and stuff so i have to actually open it in order to see what they are i don't want to open all of them so I'm just gonna choose one. He got some regular type ones and then he got some like funny, I don't know if they're like Halloween themed or whatever they are. It's a lot of masks, guys. Okay, so there's like a pink camo, blue camo. These other ones are like the funny ones. 
these are the ones that I was like, ooh, I really want this one. Because you know me, I don't like to be typical or basic. <laughs> I can't even imagine walking around wearing this. It's going to be so funny. But I have to tell you what, it's so cold here, usually like Halloween time. And usually on Halloween, if I'm trick-or-treating with my kids or my son, um, my face gets frozen. That's how cold out it gets. I was thinking these masks will like help that and I won't look stupid because everybody's wearing masks. So this is this one. <laughs> I really like it. I just don't know how they work. I gotta figure this out. Okay, so they're pretty stretchy. That's good. And this will keep my neck warm too. Let's see how this looks. I have such a tiny face, guys, that I don't even know if this is gonna work for me. I guess we'll see. Will it cover my ears? No, it doesn't, I don't think. Unless I kind of pull it up. <laughs> oh my God, this is so ridiculous. Over the ears looks really stupid, I guess, but. And I have a tiny freaking head. So things like this just, I'm not a person that can wear hats <laughs> or anything, sunglasses, like everything is like awful on me because I have such a tiny head and a tiny face and nothing works. So this is actually pretty loose and I know that this is just gonna constantly fall down. I can tell, but either way, it's still funny. And I kind of still would rather wear this than the masks you put over your ears because there's those ones hurt my ears and like they're so uncomfortable and I cannot breathe in them. This one, it's like you have all this. So I feel like I can breathe easier in this. Anyway, it looks ridiculous, but I don't know. I like it. What do you guys think? Comment down below. Tell me what you think. I think this one's funny. Let's open one more just to see what they look like. Oh yeah, this is the one I wanted. I love how they're real stretchy. That's nice. <laughs> oh my God, I'm wearing this one on Halloween. This is my costume. It's not fair for those people who have like larger heads or faces. Literally all they have to do is pull it up and it's like stuck to their face. Look how loose this is on me. I have such a tiny freaking head and face. Whenever I go to the gas station, everybody's wearing these types of things. Like no, like not very many people wear like the traditional ones. But it, look, it's so loose on me. I don't know what to do. I'm gonna have to like pin it in the back, probably with the safety pin. Yeah. But then it'll be harder for me to pull up and down probably, but this is what I'm gonna have to do, is pin it in the back. Anyone else have tiny head syndrome like me? I'm like the guy in Beetlejuice at the end. I'm a shrunken head. <sighs> okay, well this was 10 minutes of your life that you'll never get back, so. <laughs> now we have a ton of masks, guys. They're cute. All right, I'll see you later. Okay guys, it's time for Inktober, but it's five o'clock and my husband gets off at five o'clock and as soon as he gets home, we're leaving to go to his dad's house for his birthday. So we only have like 15 minutes to draw. So we're either gonna do it really fast or we're going to start it now and then finish it later. There's all kinds of different props, prompts for today. One of them was garden, nobody likes that. One of them is grave, which I'm gonna do. Um, the other one was injury, which I was originally gonna do, but I don't have time to do injury. I can do grave really fast. One of them is witch book or spell book or something like that. I think possibly box. Skylar's Grimoire. doing. Grimoire. Grimoire. Okay, so I'm gonna get started and I'll either see you when this is done real quick or I'll see you later tonight to finish the drawing.
Okay, so we don't have time to finish our drawings. My husband just got home, so we're gonna take off and go to my father-in-law's, and then we will try to finish these when we get back. Um, it's going pretty quickly, actually, because we're just doing quick jobs today. So, be back soon. All right, guys, we are on our way to Joe's dad's house for his birthday. I guess we're not staying long. I don't know how long we're staying. We're bringing him a cookie cake. We're gonna go over there and eat cake. Skyler's excited about cookie cake. Skyler loves cookie cake. So Saturday's gonna be a fun day. Halloween? Halloween, turn back the clocks, full moon. Werewolves. In Halloween? Yeah, there's it's full Savannah, moons and there's werewolves coming out. What? Hope Savannah's boyfriend don't turn into a werewolf. <laughs> or a vampire. She would love that. Oh my gosh, a vampire boyfriend, that's my dream. I would never break up with him ever, no matter who he is. We'll see you at his dad's house. Oh. Okay, so we're back and I didn't really vlog over there. We weren't really there all that long. We went and had some cookie cake and visited for maybe an hour and then we came back home. So um, now we are going to finish our... That's actually really scary. <laughs> it's a ghost. Look, see, it's scary when someone doesn't talk. What? No, the face you're making is scary. <laughs> Okay, anyway, we're gonna finish our drawings now really quick, so. Okay. Hers, so mine's really ugly because I was so lazy with it. Well, we were also rushing. So lazy. Oh, it's good though. You put a person standing in front of it. Yeah. I like that. It's not a bad drawing. Yeah, but it's just everyone... obviously unfinished. Yeah, but everyone has a right to have lazy drawing days. Yeah. You don't usually let me have lazy drawing days. <laughs> yes, I do. You always have them. Oh, thanks. <laughs> I'm tired, okay? I just spent a whole day at school, and then we went to Peepaws, so I was just like, not in the mood, you know? Right, well, here's my said. finished a picture. That my chart. I also did mine pretty quickly, because, you know, we had to leave. I like this better than mine. I was actually going to do another detail, and I, I didn't do it. What detail? I was going to put um, a black rose laying here. Or... I, I don't know why I forgot to do that, but anyway, that's mine. That's for Grave. Today was kind of a weird day for Inktober because we were all very busy, so. Okay, guys, so that is the end of the vlog today. There's only two more days left of Vlogtober, guys. Oh, that's it. That's it. Two more days. So if you haven't yet, go ahead and hit subscribe and hit the like button. Leave me a comment on the video if you'd like to. And we will see you tomorrow. Bye, poopies. Bye.